One of the most difficult aspects of ministry is the fact that ministers are not always going to make people happy. When someone's having a bad day, there's a good chance that I'll not be, I will not be able to make it better. If someone has a problem with the church or one of the church's teachings, there's a good chance I'll not be able to alleviate this problem. In terms of administration, I'm only one person, so I can't be at two places at the same time, and there's only so much time in each day. And finally, when you have many people you're ministering to in your parish, it just seems as if there's no way to get to consensus sometimes. Again, you can't make everyone happy. At seminary, we didn't discuss these realities at length because they're not life-giving aspects of ministry. However, we did talk about them, at least acknowledging them. But what we did do more is we studied the Word of God, and they taught us how to pray. So today's passage from Daily Mass helps me to put all of these realities, these difficult aspects of ministry, into context. So today's scripture passage for the Gospel comes to us from the 15th chapter of St. John's Gospel. It reads, Jesus said to his disciples, If the world hates you, realize that it hated me first. If you belong to the world, the world would love its own. But because you do not belong to the world, and I have chosen you out of the world, the world hates you. Remember the word I spoke to you. No slave is greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they kept my word, they would also keep yours. And they will do all these things to you on account of my name, because they do not know the one who sent me. What is consoling to me about these words of Jesus Christ is his honesty. The apostles will not fare any better than Jesus Christ. And that, again, is something that helps us to truly understand ministry as priests, but all of us in our interactions with others. If we do what Christ wants of us, there's a good chance it will not be received well. And again, we could be treated like Christ. But we also have to remember that the apostles, just like us in our own lives, were chosen by Jesus Christ to do specific things for the kingdom. So the apostles were not doing their ministry without the aid of grace, and we are not doing things without the aid of God's grace. So yes, we will face difficulties, frustrations, challenges, but we do all these things for Christ who gives us his strength to do them. So when we look at ministry in general, it only happens because of Jesus Christ. And that also helps us to provide perspective on ministry. For example, my own life. I'm not successful or unsuccessful because of the results of my ministry. I am only successful or unsuccessful if I'm faithful to what Jesus Christ is asking me to do. Therefore, when I encounter the realities I talked about at the beginning of today's reflection, I now understand them as opportunities for me to grow in my faithfulness to the Lord Jesus Christ, to allow him to meet me in these challenges, to see how I can work to make things better. Again, I don't take them personally, but I take them as opportunities for me to grow closer to the Lord and allow him to show me how I can better serve the kingdom. So if I'm praying and serving and li is in living as Jesus wants me to do, there's nothing more that I need to do in my life. But I also can be truthful that um, I still struggle. And again, there's always probably more I could be doing to be faithful to Jesus Christ, especially given the great need that exists in our world. But we know what the goal is. We are called to be faithful. We are not called necessarily to be successful. And if all of us, you and me and everyone in the world, is faithful, the success will take care of itself. It will not be dependent upon us, but God, through his Son, Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, will make it all happen. 
So the negative aspects of ministry were not discussed extensively at seminary because they are not as important as the fact that if you have faith and if you know how to pray and you know about the Lord Jesus Christ, all the negative aspects of ministry will take care of themselves. Because if we're all praying, we'll remember that it is Christ who's calling us to serve. And it's not about us, but only about us serving him. Our Lady of Victory, pray for us.